We're at 2550 North Lakeview today. This building was built in 2010 and there isn't a better building in Lincoln Park with better views, newer updates. This is the newest building here. It was designed by Lucien Lagrange and the interior designer that did this unit was Anthony Michael and he worked with the general contractor, Adam Pizer. They did a fantastic job. They brought these owners' dreams to life. And if you're looking for out here, it really looks like glamour and luxury came together and had a baby, because this is bold. And you can tell it's personalized. It might be a little specialized for your taste, but take a step back and look at all the thoughts, all the ideas that came out here, everything that they executed to realize this design, because there's so much that's in here. Just from the wide plank floors that are on a 45 degree angle, you'll notice that they butt up against each other. So we're going this way here, we're going this way here, and right in the middle, is I'm guessing a white piece of oak to set it all off. We have a great living space and we started right on this fireplace. You'll notice that it's clear all the way through. This is an ignis fireplace, so you throw ethanol right in between, just pour it in, throw a match on, bam, burns clean. Now, if you wanted to remove this, you always could, but the designer put it in here to separate the two spaces, to create a divide, so you could have a formal sitting room, another formal sitting room, but really just a living and sitting space. I really like the light fixtures here. Have you noticed them? Check this out. They bring true to the building the French inspiration with the style of above while still bringing a modern touch in here. If we come right to the kitchen sitting area, you'll see this beautiful banquette that reminds you of the, the 1950s supper club. You can imagine sitting here, it's very grand, it's all the way to the ceiling. It feels large. Very illustrious, very good, very spectacular. Every piece of furniture here that you see against the windows was custom built for the space. And the designer used great tones to really accentuate and bring the lake in. Because as we, as we stare out to the abyss there, you'll notice that the unit takes you there. The couch kind of springboards you into the lake. The furniture sits and you'll notice all the window treatments all the way around are automatic. They'll go up, they'll come down with the push of a button, and everything is on a control four system. So you don't need to go hit the switch, you can do it all from your phone, and the whole unit is wired throughout. So there's speakers everywhere, you can control the music in different rooms, really decide what you want to listen to and the mood you're in. The kitchen is the only thing they really didn't touch. This was original for the project, but the small touches that they did do I really like. So you'll notice right here, hidden storage. And keeping the symmetry on this side is the same thing. So a great way to build in and get the extra space that you need. If we come through here, we have a exhaust out vent, gas, of course, and tons of storage underneath for all your pots and pans. These are all Sendero cabinetry, all granite countertops on top, all soft clothes, nice backsplash, wolf appliances, Miele dishwasher, Sub-Zero. Everything you'd expect at this price point. As we come to the entry, you'll notice this beautiful pattern all throughout. This isn't wallpaper. This isn't something that is stuck on the wall. These are hand painted throughout this entire space. And it really spider webs all together. Leading us to the powder room here, it, it feels like a floral motif. It's a floral motif like an impressionist painting that just exploded in this space. We have the gilded sink right here, coming in but not splashing, so very well designed. And I love how this comes up. And they're bringing in different elements because this is wood, we're working with gold here, we have nice texture here, and we have the motif surrounding us. You'll also notice the crown molding throughout the entire unit. And notice, I don't know if you can hear that fan, but it's very silent. As we enter, foyer. We have this great piece of art here. These are two Tibetan doors, shadow boxed on each side in order to frame it and actually just make it look like it's art because it's just the front closet. How cool is that? Now, these two owners, one of them has a hard time sleeping, so they needed two master suites. So if you've seen another floor plan here, this wall doesn't exist. They added it. So in order to do that, they pulled off this great ensuite bath, nice countertops, copper sinks, 
barely ever used tub, great fixtures all throughout. And I really like the wallpaper. It stands true to today. And this light fixture is so much fun. You can move this around at your will. As we enter one of the master suites, my favorite thing in this entire home is that right there. Who doesn't want Queen Elizabeth in their house? You know you want this woman with her eyes closed, looking over you, staring at you through her eyelids. Great storage in here with built-ins hidden behind the doors. So you have one cohesive image throughout the entire wall here. It looks clean, it looks put together. It's a mirror, but acts with all the storage that you need. Beautiful views throughout, and you can come right in through here. This is one of the doors for the balcony. And we get this enormous, I'm guessing about 20 foot balcony right here. And we have west, south, and east views in this space. You have everything. I like how they did the sconces on each side. Really add some character to the room. As we exit the unit, every door I hold is heavy, weighted, very strong. So it's keeping the insulation and the sound inside the room. So as we enter this long corridor, we have a laundry room on this side with motion activated lights, pantry right here, or linen closet right here rather, mechanicals, mechanicals, and this is the door to another door entry into the unit. That's where they keep all their cat stuff, so it's hidden behind. Then we have the third bedroom. This has a great ensuite bath here, marble top, marble floors, marble walls, very classic, and frosted glass right here for privacy. It was really smart how they built this desk into the space. This is a built-in, it would come with the unit. I love the lighting fixtures in here. And then you have this great hand-painted wall as well. So this is the true primary bedroom and a little darker in taste, right? A little masculine, but bold, more so bold. Full bath, two full sinks here, large soaking tub on this side with jets, stand-up shower. So I was just looking for the brand name on these things. I cannot think of what it is, but I can tell by the style what it is. I've seen this before, but this is all polished nickel, which really fits the elegant feel of the room. It all ties together. All the fixtures in this space are that. You have the hand shower right here as well. And this is all solid metal. You hear that? This isn't plastic. This isn't going to break. I mean, if you drop this on the tile, you could break a tile before you're gonna break this. That's what I think. Really good style to it. Newport Brass, that's the company. Newport Brass, top of the line fixtures, all true metal built right here in America. Look at this space. Can you imagine waking up and having Southern views, Western views, so you can wake up to the sunrise here, you can go to bed to the sunset here. It has every exposure you'd want. You can see the lake, you can see downtown, everything. You can see the park. This is why you live here. It's why you're living in Lincoln Park. The wallpaper is masculine, it's strong, it's very vintage, it has a, a very rich feeling to it. The picture frames, anchoring it on this wall, it really ties everything together. You have sconces on this side as well. It really brings the home to you. One last thing before you go, you have a grand entrance, grand hallways, and one of my favorite things that is simple, but a nice touch, 